guys, my name is Carlos Roberto. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. Today we have a pretty fun video for you. It's a DIY and it's gonna be the black charcoal face mask. Here we have the three ingredients that you need to make this charcoal face mask happen and it's a very cheap and inexpensive DIY. All you need is the Elmer's non-toxic glue, some peppermint oil, and also some charcoal tablets. The black charcoal face mask is usually used so you can clean up all your pores and blackheads and that's what we're going to be doing today. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do so right now. We're going to take the charcoal capsule. We're going to use four of them. We're going to break these bad boys up. Now we're going to take the Elmer's glue and we're going to do about eight seconds and now to get that tingly sensation, we're going to be using this peppermint oil and we're only going to use about a drop because if you use more, if you have sensitive skin, then it might just irritate your skin. Now that we have all the ingredients in this bowl, we're going to use this makeup brush to mix it up, which is this is actually gonna be used to apply as well, so let's go ahead and mix this up. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you avoid your hair, don't put it on your eyebrows. If you have facial hair, don't put it on your facial hair because it's gonna rip it out. for about 30 to 45 minutes and so now we're just gonna sit alright guys so it's been about 40 minutes now we're ready to take this face mask off it's pretty stiff it's on there for sure so let's go ahead and take this off and see the results You can see there all the stuff that came out of my pores. It definitely works, so you guys should try it. So there you guys have, this is a charcoal face mask that you guys can do at home for very cheap. It's very inexpensive. My face does feel a lot smoother, my nose for sure, and I don't have big pores to begin with, but I can definitely see a difference. Go ahead and try it for yourself. If you're not sure if you have sensitive skin or not, I highly suggest you kind of test it out a little bit on your hand maybe just for like 20 minutes, just to make sure you don't have any irritation because then it could do some real damage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY that I created for you guys. Like I said, it's very inexpensive. Down below you, in the description, you'll find what you need in mixing ratios and all that stuff and the links to this product. So thank you guys so much for stopping on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And also if you haven't followed me on Instagram, go follow me right now at Bobby Carlos Roberto. Thank you guys so much for stopping on my YouTube channel this week. I'll see you guys very soon. Don't forget to click the stop. Yo, 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 yo,